Hello everybody, Samuel Young here. So basically, today on Inside Edition, if you don't know, if you don't know what this channel is about, it's about like it airports on news and they have like their own like TV, like like news section and stuff. And they report a bunch of news. Sometimes it's it can be from like the social media type of stuff or other stuff that's not really like important to the news but you know but still um so basically today we have our first teen karen or gen z karen i don't know if you can call him a gen z he he dresses like one but unfortunately we don't know so basically what this is about is I already watched this video. Basically, um so basically I'm just gonna play it and see what it's about. Cause I already know what it's about, but since some of you didn't watch this video yet, yeah. We're gonna play it in a sec. See, um, the one that says they arrested the son on a sword charge. So satisfying. It is, because now he knows that, that by being a Karen, you can get punished just like one. So because the son wanted to be a Karen, now he knows what it feels like to be a Karen. A mother and son are being called Karens for giving a man a hard time in their parking garage. Problem is, the man was there just doing his job. A mother and son Karen? They are in the parking garage of their apartment building in Nashville. I've seen them following me around. I'm Suspicious about a black man they see. We just want to know what your job is. Um, I saw a similar video to this on Tomo News where, like, this woman was following um a black like guy um find him around the walmart because he didn't want him to steal like like it's not really fair to just suspect that certain type of race to be stealing especially like um like black people because like if they're there just to like shop um then just let them do their thing because most of the time um where i'm from like this is not a stereotype this is actually what i kept seeing in gas stations all the time um basically um in gas stations um black people when they're in this in the gas station i always see them just looking around just window shopping like, window shopping is like where you look around, grab things, check what they are, what they're about. And basically, I always just see them window shopping. Like, it's not a stereotype. I actually saw this happen a bunch of times. I'm not even kidding. So you can't, like, really be offended by it. Like, that's what actually happened. Like, nothing bad happened at that point. They were just window shopping or they were just using the bathroom i once saw that happen like nothing judgmental but you know and like one time in in summer school they told us that we can like window shop for just one day and then we can like buy stuff that we window shopped about and see if we can get it and then one of the students had money on them and shopped some um Football shirt that said Mexico on it, I guess. Yeah. But still, um, like I said, it's not great to, to like, always assume that, that, that a certain type of race is going to steal. Just like you assume that, that this type of race eats, eats cultural appropriated, like, food. Like, how... How like this country or this country like eats this and they eat that, you know? 
Just let them let live their life, you know. But still, um, just let just let people do what they want. If it's a good thing, if they're like bad, like being offend being offensive to to others, like they're judging them or something, then don't let them. Do. Just let them do stuff if it's for the good of others or they just want to do their thing like shop or something. Just do it because otherwise, because otherwise you're just a jerk and many things, many things. None of your business. The first thing that came out of her mouth was how did you get in here? What are you doing here? And when I said, you know, I'm working, doing, you know, checking cars. She said, no, you don't work here. You don't belong here. Johnny Martinez works for a company that boots illegally parked cars. He was wearing this headlamp, an ID badge, a company t-shirt. Bro, how can, how can this ever not tell that he's wearing all of this? Like the uniform, the, 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 the headlamp on his cap, and the ID. If you have an ID, that means you work there okay it doesn't mean you're you're impersonating an employee if you have an idea with you and it's real then there you go you don't need to go oh blah blah blah, blah. you you don't work here of course he works there look at the uniform my dude don't don't be like no you don't work here bro no okay how how dumb are these cameras like dark you must be like a negative, a negative point three hundred and five at that point, because if your IQ is that low, then then you're 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 literally stupid to the to the brainstem, as in. Oh my, it's like. You see, I'm I'm really tired of hearing of these Karens on the news, like. Just get a life and leave, and leave um black people alone, please, and leave other people from different races alone. Cause if you're just gonna be there, judging them and telling people, oh, this is my parking spot, oh, this is this is me, blah 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 blah. I want I I once met this one male Trump supporter, Karen. I literally flipped off his like trump flag and he got mad we argued um he asked me this and that i just i just i just didn't want to argue with them anymore but trump supporters are literally the worst like i'm never gonna get into detail what happened okay i'm just not going to okay looking aggressive here and knee pads this is not your apartment and they knee pads are actually important even if you're not like skating and sorry if i paused immediately um um knee pads like if you accidentally like hit your your knees on something hard like in a wall or something while you're texting since you know people can get distracted while texting you're gonna have to need those, but nobody in real life wears them every day, unless you're that insecure about getting hurt. Still found him suspicious. You have an ID on me? I don't need to tell you what I'm doing because I'm not interacting. Martina says he refused to show his ID. Immediately, I felt I was being racially profiled. So why didn't he show them his ID? I couldn't oblige. I could not submit to that. I can't be a part of a culture that they demand that you show them your papers, basically. And then you reinforce that behavior. Out of nowhere, the son tries to knock the phone out of Martinez's hand. Bro, this son is going full Karen on this dude. Literally. There are some videos where Karens will say, get that phone out of my face. And they'll try to like, like, um, like hit it out of their hand. This, the son is literally a full-on Karen. I don't know if he's doing this for attention or what. Because this right here is... It's just getting out of hand. Okay, it's getting out of hand. 